the overall goal of the methods presented here is to determine optical, electrical, and structural properties of extended defects, such as dislocations or grain boundaries, in semiconductor materials using the scanning electron microscope. These methods can help answer key questions in the semiconductor field because extended defects have a strong influence on the performance of microelectronic devices and of solar cell materials. The advantage of the use of the scanning electron microscope is that different physical properties of extended defects can be studied on one sample from room temperature down to very low temperatures. The cathode luminescence giving insight into the optical properties of extended defects in semiconductors can also be applied to studying materials that are only slightly luminescent, such as minerals. Individuals which are new to electron backscatter diffraction for strain analysis may struggle because of issues regarding diffraction pattern quality and electron beam stability. To begin, mount the 60-degree pre-tilted sample holder onto a metallic socket. Then, put a 0.5 mm thick piece of indium foil on the sample holder and place the cleaned sample on top. Next, place the socket onto a heating plate. Switch on the heating plate and heat up the socket to 150 degrees Celsius in order to make the indium foil ductile. Once heated, press on the sample with a wooden toothpick for one second in order to fix the sample onto the indium foil. Then, switch off the heating plate and cool the